Welcome into the Cottage Community Village, all my family and friends, and all of our new friends. Welcome in. Lazy Retired Granny here. Today is Wednesday, the 25th of September, 2024. It's 5.16 a.m. here in still dark, soon to be cool, and possibly rain, Salem, Oregon. Feels so good this morning. I do have the door open, cooling it down in here. Um, it was like 75 degrees inside, so pretty warm. I like it cooler. So, um, I do have my hot breakfast blend caffeinated coffee beside me in my awesome mug from my Diamond Daughter V, and it has French vanilla creamer in it. Okay, let's get this wax lamp on. Pick us out some wax from my diamond daughter, Rebecca. So, what do we got? I'm saving this one. <laughs> let's do this one. <laughs> okay. And this, ooh, Witch's Brew and pumpkin stew oh. Mm. Oh, that smells good witches brew and pumpkin stew I like the name of that alrighty so, <coughs> as you can tell, I didn't get a lot of diamond painting done yesterday. I do have a good excuse for it, though. And let me get my tray out here because everything is not organized yet. And I didn't do it before I turned on the camera. There we go. So... Yesterday was so exciting. I was, let's see, what did I do with my wax? Um, okay, so yesterday morning, I did the whip and gab, and then Ellie and I went out for a walk. Well, it was uploading and all that and yesterday it was like 90 some degrees and it was getting warm out there Whew. but <clears throat> um, I'm deciding what I want to do I think I'll do the percentages Um, but I actually was able to, I worked up to going around our circular driveway twice. Mm -hmm. And then we did that and then um, my landlord showed up to get, I guess he was getting some stuff out of his barn back there and actually it's his workshop and Ellie saw him and so she had to go running up there and greet them she loves them and uh, so she did that and then I took her on a sniff walk because when I'm walking we have to go at a pretty good clip and here she is. Um, so I took her around and she did her sniff walk. And then we came back in and I thought, you know, I oh, there goes the nasal nose. Hold on. Oh. 
Okay. Um, so anyway, um, then I was going to get some filming done and scheduled. And that's just on my stash videos. And, and by the way, I'm going to change things up a little bit. And we'll see how you guys like it. But I'm going to still do my whip and chats, you know, in the morning. But my other videos, such as my stash videos or unboxings, I'm going to do those so they're scheduled in the evening. 8 o'clock my time rather than have two back-to-back -back in the morning videos and we'll just see how that goes for a little bit and if it doesn't work out I'll change it up again <coughs> oh man excuse me allergies again this morning um, so anyway those stash videos they do take a while to do there there's a lot of work involved in those and anyway I got one done and was putting all that away and I was going to do the second one when Ellie was going bonkers barking and whatnot well it was the Amazon driver and he was stopped, step, stopped out front, and um, I went over there and I, you know, at the door, and I said, "Ellie, be quiet." You know, she was just going crazy. You know how she is. And man, he was unloading this huge box, and he took it up to my son who lives next door, his door. And David always orders all kinds of stuff. Never know what he's doing over there. He likes all the little toys. So I thought, oh, I wonder what he's getting this time. But it was his work time, so I didn't want to go bother him or anything. So anyway, so I, the Amazon guy left. And Ellie's calmed down. So I came back over here and was going to get ready to film when my son came over with this big, huge box. And he said, Merry Christmas. Here's an early Christmas present for you. I thought, what? Well, let me back the story up. I think I told you, you know, I started walking and I wanted to get a treadmill so when it starts raining and it's getting cold and all that I could just walk on the treadmill and I don't need anything fancy you know just something for me to walk on and so I was asking David about these different treadmills on Amazon and then I was looking see if I could get one used because the treadmills were you know a good one was over my budget limit and for what you know I felt that I wanted it for I didn't want to go broke buying one of these things so he said and this was a couple days ago and he said let me do some research and you know, see what, what's out there. Well, he did the research and bought me one. Yeah. Now, he knows I'm, I'm frugal over here. <laughs> and I didn't want anything super fancy because I'm not going to know how to use it. And it'll just frustrate me. And, you know, this is what I'm doing. I'm not jogging. I'm not, you know, doing handstands on it or anything all I'm doing is walking I just want something 
that measures or keeps time or something. So anyway, um, so yeah, he came over and he unboxed it. Oh my gosh, I am so stoked. I am so excited. So the one that he got me, um, yeah, it isn't one of your, you know, thousand dollar ones. You know, it's more budget friendly, easy to use. And, but it got super good ratings on it. So lots of ratings. And, but anyway, it, I still have to kind of play with it to figure out how it works. Yesterday I was just playing on it just to see if, you know, to get the gist of how it works because I've never been on one before. So, um, he got it all put together and, um, got it plugged in and I stepped on it and it's got, I think like seven different speeds and it on the bars now you guys probably know this but because I've never had one before you know I don't know but anyway you hang on to or the, not bars but handles and on the handles that you know you lay your hands on it measures your heart rate you know your pulse and then on one side of the handle it's got little buttons and you can Increase your speed, reduce your speed, and on the other side is like start and stop. And then it's got a, um, in front of you, it's got a thing, and it measures um, your distance, your time, um, what else, calories, something else I can't remember but yeah so it does everything that I was looking for and more the only thing it doesn't do it calculates miles not steps but I do know that 10,000 steps is five miles so and that's my first goal, is to get up to 10,000 steps. So, um, it's perfect. I love it. And so we have it set up. Now, my place is super small. But there's my TV against the wall, and then the couch. And then behind the couch is my treadmill. And I had been, um, a couple days ago, I looked, I didn't want to have to pay for a walking challenge thing. That's not what I wanted. I wanted to be able to walk on the treadmill and watch a YouTube channel that takes walks in different places. And I found a couple that do that. Plus, John over at Horse Guards, he used to do that. He would take walks throughout London and different places. And so I got on YouTube and there, there's a few um, that I really, really like. So I'm really looking forward to that. So we put on a you know, a YouTube walking video. Oh man, is that ever cool. You just kind of walk and you can see the sights. <laughs> Here goes my pretend self. Yeah, so that was pretty cool. Well then, he um, we got everything set up and we were 
We got all that figured out. Well, it was just a little, a little bit later. Oh, let's see. <coughs> <coughs> I can't remember exactly the sequence of events, but <clears throat> I think I finally got my second video done. And my son came back over. And I saw him go down to the mailbox. And usually he doesn't go down and get the mail. But I knew we were getting a package in the mail. But I didn't know who it was for or anything. So anyway, I saw him going down to the mailbox. And I thought, well, he must be expecting something. He must have ordered something. But, you know, that's good. I don't have to go down and get the mail. And plus, they were doing resurfacing our long driveway that we share out here so there was all kinds of machinery going and blah blah i don't know what all they were doing out there they were there till late last night so i haven't seen it but anyway um yeah he goes down the mailbox and he comes over and he goes close your eyes i got a surprise for you and i says what now well he bought my fitbit is like 10 years old and we were having troubles with it because you know technology has changed their programming has changed and we were having a hard time syncing it up now I do like my Fitbit because it does the steps but it wasn't working right because I did like 5,000 steps which would be two and a half miles. And I said, I'd only, only gone a mile. Well, I didn't make any sense. And so I don't know what was going on. But anyway, he said, I got you a new watch. This is it. It is fancy. So he synced it up to my phone. So everything my phone does, this does. I can even answer the phone on it. <laughs> but it does measure my steps. And my heart rate and, you know, just, it does everything. Wow. And it measures my sleep, which the Fitbit would do too, if it was working right. Um, yeah, I was obsessed when I was walking before on all the, the um, things that <clears throat> the Fitbit could do. But anyway... <clears throat> Um, but yeah, this is fancy stuff. And you just, it, if you turn this dial, I don't know if you can see this or not, but if you turn the dial, it goes to different programs and that's the temperature. And... I guess you can do a calendar in there, ECG, um, my BPM. I like this one, my stress level. So, <laughs> I've been playing with that to see what my stress levels are. So yesterday I was calm. I was in the green. Let's see what I am today. <laughs> yeah, it measures it for um, percentage. So once it gets to 100%, then it tells you what your stress levels are. So just a second. It's it. Oh. 
Yeah. So, um, let's see, what does this say? Measure. Uh, what am I doing wrong here? I don't know exactly how this phone works, but my son is going to, um, oh, there we go. Right, here's my stress level right now. It's in the green. You see that little dot? <laughs> so, yeah, I still have to play around with it. I, yeah, I don't know what all it does. <laughs> but we still have, you know, he was working yesterday, so um, we still have to play around with it a little bit. But I don't until I can get used to the um, treadmill and don't have to hang on to the handles or the you know the bars there. Um, it it won't. I don't think it'll record my steps. But on here, on the front of it, it says how many steps I've done. It gives me the weather, the date, the time. Um, yeah, this is... Oh, yeah, and then all my programs are on there. He's got all kinds of stuff on here. Whatever is on my phone, I guess, is on here. Yeah, I'm not really for sure what all this stuff is, so I still have to play around with that. <laughs> oh, I was I was really more interested in using that treadmill yesterday. So yeah, so what do you think of that? Do I have a good son or what? So I am all set. But as long as the weather's good, I still want to take Ellie out for some walks because she also needs to walk. Unless I can train her to go on the treadmill with us, with me. That, that would be interesting. <laughs> oh, we were both on the treadmill. Maybe I can teach her how to walk on the treadmill. Now, that would make some funny video. But, yeah, I was... Yesterday, I was on the treadmill, and I turned on the TV to one of the walking YouTube channels. And, I, well, actually, I was watching John. He finally came back from his holiday. And so I wanted to watch his new video going to horse guards now horse guards are kind of still closed because they're still working on it i don't know when they're going to reopen the courtyard is open but the horses aren't in the boxes yet they're still doing that so i wanted to watch that while i was walking and then my son got off work and he came over and I was on the treadmill and he laughed and he goes, oh, you're already enjoying it. And I said, oh, yeah. So, um, yeah, so. <laughs> so anyway, that's my excuse why I did not get a lot of diamond painting done yesterday. And I'm going to put you on pause for just a minute because I think the washing machine shut off. And I'll get to that story in a minute. Okay, so, um, yeah, I'm going to be out and about this morning. I have to go to the store and get some broccoli, cauliflower, some eggs um, for my healthy eating. Does that sound healthy? <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out. Okay, what do I want to eat? And for me, it's going to be more just cut out all the snacking 
things that, you know, I do. <sighs> That's mostly. And eat smaller portions. And I think I'll be fine. We'll see how that goes for me. I have, since Monday, I've lost two pounds. <laughs> oh. Yeah, and I do know on weight loss, once you start something like this, you might lose five pounds really fast and then you go into a lull. And I am not trying to do a face fast weight loss right now. I figure if I can lose a couple pounds a week, that will be great. So I'll keep you updated on my journey see how successful I am but now I have to be successful because my son bought me <laughs> oh, this treadmill yeah I'm excited it's supposed to rain today so yeah I'll be able to walk the streets of London today and I don't even have to get dressed I can just wear my nightgown <laughs> Oh, my goodness gracious. You're getting to know a little bit more about me and what I do. <laughs> but anyway, so this morning, well, we didn't have an exceptionally good night last night. Um, I went to bed about 9. And I don't know if it was just because I was thinking about my treadmill and making plans and... <laughs> All that but it did take me a while to get to sleep well then about midnight or so yep Ellie started licking my face she had to go outside well she had to do her business out there and so then it took me a little bit to get back to sleep again. And I wanted to get up early, get in the shower, and um, get some laundry done before I left. Now, I wanted to leave early because, number one, I like to go up the stores when hardly anybody's there. And I do have a couple stops to make. And so I thought, wow, if I could get out and about about seven and then I could be back home by 10, you know, that would be good. And so anyway, but that didn't happen because... I slept until about 4.15. Yeah. So now I'm way behind schedule. So I jumped in the shower. I got some laundry going. So I'm multitasking this morning. And then I thought, you know, I need to get this video up. And hopefully it'll be uploaded and all that by the time I'm ready to leave. So, but then I just change my plans and which you know I mean it really doesn't matter when I go but it's still going to be early so I think I'm going to leave around um, 8.30 unless I get you know if this uploads super fast then maybe I can get out of here early but we'll see so I don't know when it's gonna upload uploads well getting it uploaded or whatever it does the first stage of it it's the second stage that it, you know when it goes into YouTube that's what takes so long oh my goodness yeah so there's some percentages I missed. Of course I did. So. Yeah. And then I want to get back. Because I want to get on my treadmill. I 
I keep wanting to call it my walker, so I may just call it that. See, disclosure. It's a treadmill, but I call it my walker. <laughs> But my son said, you know, I want to support you as much as possible in your getting healthy adventure. He knows I can do it. I did it before. Um, I lost 60 pounds. I was, had good eating habits. And all that. But this time... But, and I won't go into it, there was things that happened and, um, you know, life happens. And I just got back into my old habits and went off my diet and, or my, not my diet. I don't like diets. Um, but my healthy eating and whatnot. But anyway, um, yeah, so, and, but that won't. Well, I can't say it won't, but I don't think it'll happen again, so. Yeah. So, I am. My son just spoils me rotten, I have to say. He is a good son. looks out after mom <clears throat> so with that let's get to some emails I've jibber jabbered about myself enough okay it's super dark so <laughs> okay let's see what we got in here Peggy Newest canvas. Hi, Granny. Thought you might like to see my latest canvas I am working on. It's a haunted house. 45 by 65 centimeters, 26 colors with three ABs, and it came from Timu. I think this is a licensed canvas because I put it in, and that is one of the canvases that came up. It is from AB Diamond Art. I have one more from them. Have a great day and give Ellie a hug for me. Wow, that is going to pop when you get those drills down. Wow. You know, and unfortunately, I am not the expert on licensed art and whatnot. Um, but look what she... I'm bring this back up. So... She did that little tiny space up there, and look how it pops already. Wow. I I really, you know, keep posting what your progress on that. I want to see that thing come alive. Shelly, new subscriber. Hi, Granny. So happy I found your channel through Tita, I think. I love listening to you both. Um, a little about me. I was born and raised in Troutdale, Oregon. Another Oregonian. Next to the beautiful Columbia River area. That is a gorgeous area up there. Oh my gosh. You were so lucky. Um, they have a bunch of little villages. <laughs> up there on um, the Columbia River. I don't know. I think that's a scenic drive. Oh my gosh, yeah. I've been on that all the way to the border. It is gorgeous. Um, I have three kids, ages 30, 23, and 17, and two awesome step kids, ages 30 and 27. I now live in central Massachusetts for about 11 years now with my hubby, whom I met online in a game 
11 years ago, and my 17-year-old. I love hearing about your walking. Really is starting to motivate me again. I lost 145 pounds over the last year and a half, or 1.5 years. We drove from Maine to Oregon in July. I got to enjoy watching my son marry his beautiful bride. So I took the summer off and now that the weather is cooler, I'm starting back to my healthy lifestyle October 1st. <gasps> we could start a new club. Healthy lifestyle club. How about that? Um, I'd love to join your cottage community if you'd have me. Of course, everybody's welcome. My house is on Zigzag Lane, my most favorite area where I live once for real. Here is my first diamond painting I have finished. <clears throat> this was for Drills and Chills event. Fall is my favorite time of year. Until next time, your new friend, Shelly, Oregon Chick, <laughs> I like that, 1972. I'm going to supersize this a little bit. And this is a diamond art club. <gasps> look at that. Hey, V, look at those colors. V likes the bright colors. Yeah, that's definitely bright. Okay, shall I let me get my famous book out here? Move things around a little bit. I don't want to be spilling drills like Mike did yesterday. Well, I don't know when he did it, but um, when I was watching his videos, <laughs> something fell and his drills went a flying. Yeah. Uh, I think I need a bigger mat. I gotta go check on the washing machine. I think it finally shut off. Okay, I finally made it back. Got a load in the dryer and one in the washing machine and Ellie decided I need to go outside. It's like, okay. All right, so here we are on our village. <clears throat> Okay, Shelly, you're number 32 in our village. And I need to know if you're a sister or a daughter. So are you 50 plus? Let's see. You know, I may just uh, change all that. <laughs> I don't know. Tell me if you want to be a sister or a daughter. <laughs> okay, and yours is on Zig Zag Lane. Now, do you have a house number? Zig Zag Lane. All right, now remember, these are pretend addresses, not your real address. <laughs> okay, and I am going to add a club. We got a lot, lots of clubs, don't we? This is going to be our healthy, healthy club. Our health club. There we go. And Shelly, you're the first person on here. And of course, Granny. And I'm gonna add Tita because I know she's doing a healthy thing. Okay, so welcome in. All right, see what else we got here. Patricia, she has got a finish. One of the prettiest I've done. Enjoy doing this, even though there were lots of darks. Blessings, Pat. 
I saw this on Tita's Facebook page. I commented. She got her done. That turned out so good. <clears throat> I love it. You know, when you were laying down the drills on this, I was trying to imagine, okay, how is this going to turn out? Because you gave us sneak peeks and whatnot. Oh, my goodness. Look at that moon and the boat or whatever that's called is. <laughs> it's a sailing ship. That's a ship, not a boat, right? Okay. <laughs> it turned out fantastic. And look on the water. You get that reflection from the moon. Oh, my goodness. And look at that sky. Oh, that is beautiful. I like it. Jill. Spill the drills, etc. Dear Granny and Ellie. May I be entered into the Spill the Drills fame page? <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Thank goodness they only landed in the linoleum and not the carpet. Second picture is of my little drills vacuum. I can't live without it. Yeah, I got one of those too. Um, I've also sent a picture of my second build remodel of the shoe house. Just over halfway done. All right, let's turn on the light. And we're going to get the Spill Your Drills Club. Whoops. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no. Ooh. Even with that little vacuum. Oh, my goodness. That's going to take a while. All right. Oh, my goodness gracious. Jill. Jill, Jill, Jill. You're going to be the celebrity director. That is way up here at the top. Poor Mike just can't get out of CEO. Boy, I tell you, when he spills drills, he does it good. Oh, ho, ho. yeah, his last fiasco spilled drills on the canvas, the sticky part. Yeah. Uh, okay, next up. Oh, look at your vacuum. That is adorable. Where did you get that? That is so cute. Mine's just plain. <laughs> I'll have to draw a face on it. I'll put little stickers on it. <laughs> Decorate it up. <laughs> that is cute. Oh, and here's her second cottage. <laughs> now there was somebody else I think that was doing a, a shoe. Was that you? Let me look. Um, Jill. Hold on. Jill, I don't have your first one on here and your address, and did you complete it? Can you let me know? All right, so then, oh, here, no, Cobbler's Cove. Jill, I'm so confused. Was this your first one? Okay, Jill, let me know. You know, I get easily confused. <laughs> but I got you on the Spill the Drills Club. 
Okay, Butterfly Spirit finally arrived. Picture of canvas working on for the village. Hope it turns out as cute as picture. I am a sister and still haven't found cottage, so we'll wait on address. In real life, we are raising 100 chicks. So house is filled with bird noises, LOL. Starting next month, we will have a litter of pigs as mom will soon give birth. So although going into winter feels more like spring this year. All right. Um, butterfly. Before I show this picture. Number one. Send me pictures of your chicks and your little piglets. And you're part of our farm, a barn with animals. Um, we got chickens, and even though they aren't, I mean, they're real life. So, let's see. Real life, real life animals. All right, so we're gonna have pigs and piglets, chicks, okay, and these are gonna be, I gotta figure out how to spell your name, B-T-T-R, B-T-T, -T. and I think that means butterfly, maybe it means butter. No, because it's F-L-Y. All right. So, all right. <laughs> oh, wait, go back. <clears throat> she said she is a. Is it sister? That's what I wanted. Yay! We have another. S no, that's a daughter. Sister. It's too early in the morning. All right, how do you spell that again? B T T R Y Spirit. Okay, now we'll look at her picture. This is adorable. Oh my goodness. This is definitely a farm life. Somebody's calling me. My new watch is telling me somebody's calling me. Oh, isn't that cute? And there's some chicks. Are those little goats? Uh, boots and that. All right, so this, let me get back here. All right, so that will qualify for this. All right, let me go back. All right, we can have an address. Let's see. Oh, boy, I need another page here. All right, this is going to be... Where'd that page go? I lost the page. There it is. All right. I'm going to put it on here, if that's okay. And you're going to have a um, farm. Because that reminds me of farm life. How about that? And then, you know, you can always add your cottage later. So that's good. All right. Um, okay, that's it. All right, how long have I been on here? I got to move quickly here. I think I'm... Oh, 
Oh man, I might be going over my limit here. All right, let's get the comments. Um, Constance said, so good to hear from Alice. I was wondering about her the other day. Yeah, Alice checked in with us and she seems to be doing good. Um, Teresa said, Bluebird's song has been discontinued per D DAC website. Yeah, Teresa, I know. I'll never have that. I think it's just so beautiful. Um, Margie, great chat. Good luck on your journey to lose weight and eat more healthy. We're all here for you. I love Melanie's story she had with email. It was great. Thanks for sharing. Hugs. Yeah, I love the stories on emails. You know, I love our gab sessions. Oh my goodness gracious. How I love them. Alright, Kim. When you were describing getting to Hobby Lobby, the tune... was on my thing um the tune over the river and through the woods to grandmother's house we go was running through my head <laughs> yeah that's about how it is um <laughs> oh my goodness uh terry 6766 says i don't multi-place either um, it's pretty, but I like full drill canvases. I bought one from Michael's. Haven't been to Walmart yet. Thanks for the heads up. Yeah, they're starting to get all over the place now. Um, Margie says, cute Christmas winter scene. Love that it has a few specials. That's on my unboxing on the Christmas tree that I got from Hobby Lobby. Um, Angela M. said, love this one, but we don't have a Walmart in the U UK. I know. Patricia L. Hey, Granny, will you please put that channel name where you watch the interview with Chuck Penson? Thanks much. Enjoyed the gab today. Blessings to you and Ellie. Um, yeah, I, I did share the link, um, but I will do it again. Um, let me put a note to self. Uh, where's my notepad? Okay. Link to Mindy. Yeah, I want to watch her other interviews, too, uh, because she's interviewed uh, Chuck Penson before. So, yes, I will do that. Uh, yeah, Mindy's Diamond Moments. Uh, Margie put it on there. But I'll add it again. Because um, it's well worth adding. Uh, Diamond Painting with Mike. Well, I didn't... Oh, maybe... Oh, this was on his uh, Whip and Tap where he spilled the drills. It was his phone that fell. I tried to plug cable in and phone fell out of the clamp. And boom, they all went everywhere. Yep, phone fell on the tray. Um, oh, he says milk can make you feel full too, but soup also is great as it puts lining over the stomach to make you feel full. I love soup, especially the vegetables. I love vegetable beef soup. I love tomato soup with rice. Um, chicken noodle, yeah. Um, you and me both hate cooking, ha ha ha, yeah. <laughs> the easier, the better. I love the crunchy leaves too. I love seeing the orange ones. Oh yeah, I was talking about walking in the crunchy leaves. Um, Melanie responded to him and said, CEO, my friend. Last night, resin pen in hand, reaching for my tray to grab a drill. I'm diamond painting, normal. But my pen went flying as 
if I threw my pen in my tray. Yep, drills tray and pen went flying. My cue to go to bed. Well, after cleanup. <laughs> I've had that happen too. I don't know what it is. My pen just goes a flying. Um, Oregon Chick, who's our new person in here. Hi there. I just uh, love listening to you while I diamond paint. I'm a native Oregonian and love your stories. I'll email you my sunflower project. I finished for drills and tails. Looking forward to your next videos. Shelly. <gasps> Shelly. Did I put that as... Yeah, I did. Okay. So, Shelly is Oregon Chick. Just in case I forget. Okay. Um, and Patricia says, Good morning, Granny. Pat here. Neat kit. Reminder of you selling, uh, of, of your tree selling last year. <laughs> um, where has the time gone? I know it's been practically a year. Hope you and Nellie have a good day. Blessings. Yeah. It has. I can't believe, because we started that the week before Thanksgiving. Yeah, did that for about a month. <laughs> yeah, it was so funny. I don't know if they're going to have me do, do that this year or not. So, Well, that is all the comments, and I am going to go um, get busy here. I do appreciate everybody stopping by and gabbing with me, sending your emails, and your comments. You know, I look forward to this every single morning having a gab session with everybody. Um, it just brightens my day so much. Um, so, yeah. So, remember, uh, I'm going to try these changes of doing a video in the evening and then, of course, the whip and chat in the morning or whenever it decides to upload. Um, yeah, so I'm just trying to try some different stuff here on the channel for people. And, uh, yeah, give me feedback. Let me know what you think. Um, anything else? I think that's about it. So thank you so much for stopping by, visiting with me, laying down some drills. Well, hopefully you got some drills laid down. And um, if you are doing your healthy eating, exercising, whatever, let me know. And we'll add you to the list. And with that, I will jibber-jabber with you later.